watching what police say is a new breed of credit card thief. Caught on tape. They say that guy is searching for a so-called skimmer device installed inside this gas pump in Arizona, stealing your credit card info when you think you're just paying for gas. What he doesn't know, according to investigators, is that he's just been caught in a covert sting operation. He put those in there, and for whatever reason, they're not there anymore. I know why, because I have them. He's the one who tipped us off. He's the one who switched out that skimming device for a night vision spy camera. We may have the first ever video of organized bad guys actually trying to retrieve their skimmers. That's video gold. Here comes our producer pulling up to buy gas. He swipes his credit card and for all he knows, for all the gas station owner knows, crooks could be stealing from him right then and there. The skimmer inside the pump silently harvesting his credit card information. He has no way of knowing. And this is now a multi-billion dollar a year problem. That's where I found mine. It was stuck up here. Unless you're looking like this, you can't see it. It looked like a little matchbox and that's it. It was stuck on one side to the middle. Ahmad Motley recently found a skimming device inside one of his pumps. He's been in the gas business a long time and played us some greatest hits from his surveillance video collection. Old way they used to come in here with a gun or they used to break the windows at night when you were gone. But that is so last century. A skimmer wouldn't stick a gun in your face. There's nothing hiding his eyes. They will. Well, they'll rob you blind. The skimming device found inside Ahmad's pump sat there for months. He had no idea. Skimming all across this country has gone so bad that Steve Starrance and the United States Secret Service, yep, the same guys who protect the president, they are now on the case. Are you winning the war? It's even right now. Uh, we're, we're doing our best. Uh, we certainly could use more help. They're getting help from police departments, tip-offs from gas station owners, and just wait until you meet one of their secret weapons. Somebody uh, turned my partner in and he turned me in. Dan DeFilippi is a reformed credit card hacker. He switched sides. He was caught by the Secret Service and then spent two years training agents in the dark art of skimming. It's very easy and it's a lot of money. I mean, you can make tons of money. Gas station skimming is one of the easiest and best ways of doing it because it's hidden. It, it only takes seconds to open it up and put it in there. So this is the reader that would be inside the gas pump, and so you would just swipe it through, and it would read it right here. So, so you just add this into the circuit? That's exactly it. What you would do is you would unplug this, and you would just take the skimmer and plug it right back in. Nobody would know the difference. How do they get into those pumps? Believe it or not, there's a universal key that opens most gas pump doors. Uh, that's a universal that's key. That's a universal key. Um, it's the same key from uh, Massachusetts all the way to California. And you can buy one online. And some of the newer devices actually use a cell phone network to transmit the data. So a bad guy can nab your credit card numbers without ever risking a return to the pump. Then, is option number one is to just sell your credit card number on a sort of eBay for skimmers. How much is my number worth? Anywhere from $5 to maybe $30. Jeez, not much. Are you nervous yet? Well, watch this. I would have an exact copy of your card. One swipe. One swipe, that's it. That is option number two, clone a card. And that's how easy it is to transfer your stolen credit card details a fake card. I was printing my own fake credit cards and then I would go to the store, purchase electronics, and I would resell them. So how do we stop guys like Dan from going on shopping sprees with your credit card info? Well, the Arizona Department of Weights and Measures is trying to stop this high-tech heist at its source. Well, we're here checking for skimming devices. And it was when they found a skimmer in this pump that they had their bright idea to lay a trap. They pulled out the skimmer and... We inserted one of these little night vision spy cams in the back of the dispenser. Here's the full video from their operation. 2 a.m. and a black SUV 
pulls into the gas station, picked up on the surveillance camera. Police tell us one guy blocks the attendant's view and two people punch over the pump. Bingo, here's the view from that camera inside. A skimmer gang, police say. And apparently a man and woman team caught red-handed. What we have here, we have the guy. And I have Mrs. Skimmer. It's awesome. They can't find their skimmer and start bickering. So it's almost like a husband and wife team arguing about, you know, where's the car keys? The cops are still searching for Mr. and Mrs. Skimmer, but for our friend Dan, his crime spree ended when he was spotted shopping at a Best Buy with a fake credit card. So anything I wanted, I would just go out and get for free using these cards. But Dan's shopping sprees with counterfeit cars left a trail too easy to track. It's old fashioned. These days, skimmers have a new way right. of turning stolen credit cards into cash. Uh -huh. It's like a normal truck on the road. Yeah. And you open it. OK. Now it's not such an ordinary truck. I think this is about a 300 gallon container, homemade steel. It doesn't look massively safe. No, not at all. After installing these huge hidden tanks, skimmer gangs go back to the gas station and fill them up at the pump, paying for the gas with your stolen credit cards. Look at where this guy has inserted the pump nozzle. It's up so high it can access that secret compartment. I would never suspect someone would go to that much trouble. Absolutely, it's, it's the next step. They then transfer the gas to a regular tanker and make what looks like a legit delivery to a crooked gas station owner. Voila, gas or cash. I'm gonna do an eight to $10 million a year. Eight to $10 million, eight to $10 million, a, million year. a year. The cops in LA County say they're pulling over trucks like this at a rate of one a week. So what on earth can you do to protect yourself and your credit card digits? Well, there's no point looking at the pump for clues. You would just never know. Never, there's no way of knowing. No way of knowing. While gas station owners are seeking new ways to protect their pumps, like locks and alarms, here are some other things that you can do. Check your account. Most credit card companies will suck up any loss if you report it within 60 days. Choose wisely. Choose a pump near the attendant. Skimmers prefer to target pumps in the shadows. And don't forget, you don't actually need to put your card anywhere near that pump. You can always... Pay inside.